So welcome to Alcamilla. Um, one of the things that I learned in regards to this charity stream, this fundraiser, is that it's spoopy and that it was gradually to get spoopier. And this appears to be a really moody Half-Life 2 mod based on Silent Hill. And I've not played this, so we're all going in blind together. And uh, I like atmospheric things like this. I loved Silent Hill 2. So uh, this just seemed like this was a suggestion by several people, and it looks really good. So, man, let's check it out. Apparently, this won't be a cry of fear type thing. Um, for anyone who is joining on my main channel, head over to twitch.tv slash variety is hope if you want to chat. So I hope you all enjoy this, and we'll see if it's any good. Um, if I finish this early before my allotted time, I have bonus spoop, which, uh, you know, I don't know if any of that stuff is good, but it looks interesting. Bonus spoop. All right. I may need to lower the volume a little bit. I'm going to tell you a truly scary Halloween tale about the Windows game store and how I was on the phone with customer support for an hour. They were really nice, but I'll tell you about it during the game, don't worry. Yep. Oh, I've got a spooky story about how Outer Worlds didn't work. God. Alright, so, Alcamilla. I've only played Silent Hill 2, so if there's Silent Hill 1 references, which I believe Alcamilla is, I'm not fully going to understand it, but I'm sure uh, Silent Hill fans will get more out of this than me. And uh, thank you all for joining, and I hope... Um, uh, what happened? Uh, what am I doing here? I hope you end up supporting Variety is Hope in some way, and if not, it's glad to, I'm glad to just have you here with us tonight. So, someone's a fan of the Jets? Bikini Ladies? Not Mozart or Beethoven and uh, the Beatles, which I have this on my wall. I've got Abbey Road. All right, that's Beethoven. Okay, Beethoven. I don't know. This is a key to my room. Um, it's got that Silent Hill filter. This is the last day I'll spend in my old room. Too many bad memories boiled up. Hold up in here, sorry. Tomorrow I'll be in Ashfield. I don't want to sell the house. Don't want strangers living in it. I keep having this feeling like I'm going to leave something important here. Like I'm forgetting something. Okay, so, um... This isn't gonna be that wacky of a stream. I think this is probably gonna be kind of dark and moody. So, hope you're hope you're in for that. Already looks pretty good. That that like I said, that filter, the post processing is pretty legit. Wait a second. Um, books, souvenirs, family photos, and other stuff. Right. Definitely got a Silent Hill vibe right off the bat. That and the scum. You know, all you have to do is scum up the textures a little bit, and you already get a Silent Hill vibe. Like James from Silent Hill. Do you remember him? The lead character, James. So, spooky house. Spooky bathroom. Oh god. Filthy bathroom. Fucking hell. Could you imagine the smell in here? The mold? Vinny, is your Abbey Road equally as scummy as the one in-game? No, mine's a framed like, holographic image that you- you look at, it changes, like, a little bit from side to side. It's- it's actually pretty nice. I've had that for ten years now, almost. Chocobites? 
Maybe? It's a good cereal. There is no water. What the fuck kind of squalor are you living in, mate? You got no water? You don't clean? Is this my house? Alright, no, I have water. I mean, I clean a little bit. Here's a trick. If you, um, need incentive to clean your place, have someone over, like, once every two weeks. And that way, you'll be incentivized to, uh, clean up your place, and that way you, you just devote, like, a couple hours a day. No, my place is clean, it's just, um, cooking oil. <laughs> and... just, in, like, a little bit of a chaos with the amount of stuff I have. Like, cause I have a hard time letting go of things, like I said, that pizza box that people signed for me. Oh shit. What the hell's going on here? I don't know what's going on. This goes without saying, but if you're gonna watch Spooky Dark Game, it is best done in the dark. Oh yeah, this is Silent Hill. Well, inspired, but geez. They nailed it. I saw some meat. Okay, so we've got little cutscenes. Every time I see that loading screen, I think Gordon Freeman. Someone's gonna yell Gordon, Gordon! How about that beer I owe you, Mr. Freeman? What the hell is this place? I bet my lead character here has the cursed Russian mixtape. Speaking of, I get that song stuck in my head since I discovered it. Uh, my head. Was I dreaming? Gotta be because of the drugs. It's probably because of the mixtape, dude. Oh, that's good. Silent Hill pickup noise. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm wondering, like, if Silent Hill- Silent Hill was never first person, was it? Except Silent Hills, which never happened. Mm, Silent Hill 4 was first person? Oh, okay. It's parts of it. Okay, thanks. Because this is a- this could work. Like, this is a pretty good perspective. I mean, it worked for Resident Evil when they did Resident Evil 7. Here's a game that traditionally had... ...you know... ...pre-rendered backgrounds and fixed camera angles... ...and then it successfully translated... ...granted with a more action focus... ...to behind-the-shoulder third-person... ...and then... ...they tried first-person, and I thought... ...Resident Evil 7 was kind of the most... ...spookily-paced Resident Evil game since the classics. 
until two was remade, which I thought they did a really good job with that. This door is stuck. Okay, this is where Vinny walks in circles for 25 minutes. Hope you're okay with that. Oh. Yep, there you go. Doctor's office. There's no map, is there? Why do you keep going back into this room? What is in this room that you keep going back in there? There's nothing. I say to him, Boot, why do, fi do you find yourself in room? Boot, please. I can imagine my non-regular viewers hearing this and being like, is this guy, like, on the drugs that the character is on in the game? And the answer is no, because winners don't do drugs. I watched uh, an interview, I don't know why, I went down this Arnold Schwarzenegger rabbit hole of just watching, you know, interviews of his, and he was on Letterman in the 80s, and Letterman asks him, like, so, you know, steroids in the bodybuilding world. Those were, you know, banned and, you know, bad. And Arnold is like, yeah, they were bad and people used them and it's more psychological than it is, uh, you know, the physical and has the bad effects. And David Letterman goes, so Arnold, did you ever use steroids? He goes, yes. No hesitation. But he said he stopped using them because they were bad. And he goes, I did not notice a difference, you know. So I smoked Stogie, and then I got out of there. No, I'm glad. I mean, he admitted to it, and he said it was bad, and it, it hurts people. But he said, you know, in the 70s, when he was Mr. Universe, he was- he tried him out. It's just funny the way he was just- yes, of course, yes. Come on, you know, with this guy, with his meanness, you know what I mean? Sorry if the Arnold is killing the atmosphere. Something is missing here, okay. Well, we'll find out. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, good! Yeah! Ha! Oh! It's a good Arnold. Oh, you know what? Thank you. I've been practicing my Arnold a little bit. It needs a little work. Um, I think I could do a better Arnold right now. I mean, uh, you know, this guy wants me to do the steroid. They say, yes, of course I do the steroid, huh? You want me to do the steroid, of course. I don't... I think I want to, I don't think I want to be in there. It's funny, you watch one Arnold interview, and then suddenly YouTube is like, Hey, have you seen this Arnold interview from 1979? No, I have not. And now my, my entire recommended is all Arnold. It's like, well, I, this isn't exactly what I was hoping to accomplish here, but thank you. I don't know what this is, but it looks broken. Okay, well, we'll figure out what's going on here eventually. Is there something wrong with that? Nope. Nope, not at all, actually. It's high voltage room. Here's a- well, no, this is where I came from. What the hell? There's- so there's this, right? This door has an electric lock. Draining the water would be nice if I could do that, um, but I need the, the, the turn, the crank. Alright, so, gotta find a crank. Um... Shit. I 
Vinny, what's your Call of Duty game, uh, clan tag? Boomer Boys. B O O M E R H. Of course. B O I Z Z. Boomer Boys. Director's office, kitchen. Well, we've tried all of this. I don't. I think I've been pretty thorough. I don't know. Um. Boy, I didn't expect to get stuck in the first 10 minutes of the game. I'll go back into the high voltage room. So it's clear that if I. <laughs> can't jump. So I can't jump in this game. I can't crouch in this game. I can't lift items. There's got to be... a thing here. Okay, so something is missing here. Oh. Did who- who just donated? Uh, who- oh, Bob Saget. I thought Dick Slapper 66 was the one that donated. Or, um, did the sub bomb. <laughs> different person. Yeah, I can't crouch. Um, I don't think there's an inventory system. Well, chat, I've officially got lost in the 10 minutes that I've been playing this. 15 now. Check in the same room as the pump. Thought I did? I'll try one more time. Has, any, has anyone played this before? Don't know what this is, but it looks broken. Oh wait, what's this? That's like a... Oh. Something's missing here. It looks like a... Could be a missing crank. Um... No, there's just filth in there. Scum and filth. Just go back up, Vinny. Yeah, it seems like it. Stream is definitely starting with a whimper. Let's see. Mmm! Quiet! It's a... <laughs> It's the Chamberlain from Dark Crystal. That's the whimper it's starting with. Okay, there's- there's got to be a clue in here somewhere. Something. Something. Anything. No. Check the kitchen. Okay, so kitchen, right? We got the kitchen. There's a- a, a knife over here. There's a- oh, I- maybe this? No. That's how you make the noodles. No, no, that's how you make the sausage. And like they say, you never want to know how they make the sausage. Fridge is not working. Of course it's not working. There's no electricity. Doctor's office, you need a key. Okay, medicine room. So this is where I came in from. Unknown drugs. Typewriter. Locked from the other side. Phone. Vinny, I've played this before. The crank is right under there. Where, where is it under? It's back in the kitchen. What if I have a glitched version of this game, and the crank does not exist? That looks like a crank to me. Under the crib. Oh, here we go again. A new generation of crib memes will be born from this game. For those that don't normally watch my streams, yes, they are usually this boring. And then, you know, I do the stogie voice, and then everybody laugh for a moment. What? 
Oh, that is cheap. That is cheap. You gotta be kidding me. That was the crib. It was under that crib. Wow. Alright. Okay, I see how this game's gonna play. It's gonna play dirty. Something is missing here. W wait a minute, I have the wrench. Oh. What? Oh. Use it. Vinny, you need to go back into the office. Did I just get, like, really ahead of myself here? You know what the horror of this game is gonna be? I'll tell you what it is. You play. You play. You go through it. You feel lost. You don't know where you are. And then, at the end of the game, it's revealed that you were in New Jersey the whole time. I say that as a supporter of New Jersey. It's just an easy joke. Okay, so, yeah. Well, that's good. Go lost again. Yeah, a supporter of New Jersey. I, <laughs> I, I defend New Jersey when people shit on it. But I also shit on it. I have no dog in this race when it comes to New Jersey. I don't- I don't live there, so... I don't really know why I defend it, but I just- I, I like- There's some good fruit! You go to New Jersey, you pick up some nice fruit. Okay, I got the wrench. I got the wrench. That's... One-fifth of the battle. I'm assume- I'm assuming... Assuming that I... Maybe shouldn't be all the way back here, but let's see. Maybe- maybe I have to be back here. Maybe there's something here. It's not opening. We'll use the wrench! Oh! Well, that's convenient. For anyone who joined me earlier uh, for my Ring Fit stream where I got swole, I'd like to let you know that I am not in pain. I only played for 45 minutes. And less than that was actually devoted to exercising, but... I felt good afterwards. There is no pain. You are receding. A distant ship smoke on the horizon. Here we go. Alright. Progress. Alright, great. Now we can elevate. Vinny, are you actually in Silent Hill? I don't... No, it's called Alcamilla, which I think is a location in Silent Hill 1. So maybe it is the- the... potential of being in Silent Hill. Maybe!
Room of Death. One. A little creepy. This door doesn't have a handle. This place looks all too familiar. I used to be here a long time ago. This is the hospital. Spooky hospitals are a staple of Halloween. And, and specifically video game Halloween. So many games do the spooky hospital theme. God, it just makes me remember how great Silent Hill 2 was. Alcamila appeal appears in several Silent Hill games. Oh. Room of Old Age 4. What? None of these toilets were particularly spooky. The numbers, yeah, the, the numbers, so, room of death, room of, what was the other one? Room of bathroom? Oh my god, it's a human heart. You know, typically those aren't supposed to be outside a body. I don't know what kind of hospital this is, but... Typically, I mean, you know, it could be outside the body when transplant occur, but in this case... I don't know... I don't know if these are professional enough people to, to handle that kind of thing. <laughs> when transplant occur. God damn it. Yes, that's correct. Just as I had said it. If the doctor said I can go home soon, thank God. To me, it's, a hor it's horrible here. I don't like this hospital. The food is terrible. Compared to a home-cooked meal, this is just shit. Even fast food is starting to sound good. Besides, there's absolutely nothing to do here, and this room is simply awful. Though it wouldn't be... if they just fixed it. The truth is, on the third floor, the repair work is already being done. From what I hear, the ceiling in room 302 has collapsed and crushed one of the patients. Apparently one of the doctors found him, and he's now in the morgue. But that's just what I heard. I haven't seen it for myself. Don't worry, I'll be home soon. Beal. Bill Alcamilla, that's right.
They are not humans. They all want to kill me, says that one. There's a spooky hospital wing in the Sleep No More thing that I've mentioned on my streams. The interactive theater where you are in the hotel and you wear the mask and you cannot speak and you follow performers around as they loosely reenact a noir Macbeth. That thing. Anyway, there's one um, section of the hotel, one of the floors is set up as a spooky hospital and it's dark, and they pump music in through the speakers that's very much like this. I say music, but more, you know, sound effects. Creepy. But yeah, it's- it's a cool thing to do. The, um... Sleep No More, I'd recommend it. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Especially if you're into weird, creepy stuff. It, not really a haunted house. It's not like... You're not gonna get jump scares. You're just gonna watch people for, perform. Um, but no one can speak, not even the performers. The riddle of rooms is very simple. You will solve it. Certain. Did you keep the mask? I have... Yes. I have the mask. You get to keep your mask. So, Room of Death 1... Well, I can't even enter a code. Door is stuck. I, I don't know, chat. I am... Once again, confused. Let's go to Floor 3. But, yeah, they, um, at Sleep No More, they let you, uh, you're on an elevator when you start, and last time I was there, there was an interesting thing where they let someone off on the hidden fifth floor, or I think it was sixth floor, I'm not sure if it was five or six, but they just let one person off at that floor, like, open the door, go ahead, sir, he goes through, and then they just shut the elevator doors and go back down to a different floor. There's only rumors about what is on that hidden floor at the top. And only like, you know, ten people a night or something like that get to go to that floor. It's either a performer takes you by the hand to go up there and you get like bonus scenes. Or um, in the beginning they let you off on the elevator. That's right, bonus scenes. That's what keeps people coming back. There are people that go to sleep no more dozens of times. Just to take in all of the story, to see all of the performances, to get the one-on-ones. And no, it's not sex. It's all very above board. It's very, very... just play. It's theater. It's theater. I know it sounds weird. People have often said, Vinny, what, what is this? Is this Eyes Wide Shut? And the answer is no. Instead, it is, um... It's kind of like this, just walking around creepy rooms, but with hundreds of other people walking around with white masks, not allowed to speak. And you just absorb the details of the sets. It's a walking simulator in real life, that's how I would describe it. Small key. It looks like a key to a locker of some. ...of some kind. It 
It's a nurse. Oh shit. Hey. Hey. You okay? It's a nice little radio reference. Can't pick it up. Someone in chat just said that nurse is pretty rude, haha. -ha. Oh, oh, no, they said nurse, nurse is pretty rude, huh? Not haha. -ha. No nurse, no. This, uh, hang on a minute, third floor bathrooms. Room of birth, four. So, what was it? Room of death was one. Room of birth, four. So it's four. What was the other number? It was four, but... What was the name of the room? Does anyone remember? Old age. Okay, so it's... So far, we're at... Um... Four... Blank... Four, one. Okay, so now I have to find out where that locked thing was. Any reminders? I don't I don't remember. What did anyone see a locked locker? A locker? the safe. Um, lockers on the second floor. Second floor basement. Oh, what? 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 No. No. Basement is out of the question. Could be director's office, could be the- it's probably not the kitchen. Doctor's office... Second floor basement is a Metal Gear Solid thing. Oh, why don't I know that? I should know that. I don't know that. Those aren't lockers, okay. Nurses station. Okay, second floor. Thank you, chat. You you are my memory. Which means that I sometimes don't put the effort into remembering stuff because I'm like, ah, chat will remember it. And then when I play games on my own outside of streaming, I'm like, wait, chat, help. But no one ever answers. No one is ever there. Were they ever there? Was it... air they breathed? Hi, Lisa. Dr. Kaufman has ordered the installation of a coal panel. Sorry. On the door to the operation room. What I can't understand is... What does he want it for? Well, whatever. It's not important. If you forget the password, remember that it consists of four digits. Funny enough, each digit seems 
corresponds well, to the product of the first and third digit in the numbers of four different rooms. What? There's a TV in the first room, a patient with a heart condition in the second room, a little girl in the third room, fourth room I hate because the occupant is a cranky drunk. Well, we definitely didn't seem to find the third room. Um, and I don't think English was the person's first language that made this, but that's okay. I just was like, wait, what? What does that mean? You found all the rooms? Well, what was the third room? I don't remember the third room. The Bappy room? With the dolls. Oh. Hang on a second. Just checking. Okay. So I don't know what the third number is, so if I get there, I need to do a little bit more research. And then I need to find the code... ...in particular. Door stuck. Room of Wiseau. Three. Door stuck. Door stuck. Hmm? Okay. Operation room. I can't even access the numbers right now. For some reason, that, that panel... Like, I don't know how to make this work. So it's... Four... Something... One, four. Can't even. Door doesn't have a handle. Or one. It was four. I, my memory is not doing me any favors right now. The riddle of rooms is very simple. You will solve it certain. Right. What's that static? Only- oh, it's the TV. God. You will solve it, certain. Spooky static. If anyone is on my, uh, channel right now, and you would like to chat, um, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, you can go to twitch.tv slash variety is hope and you can find out what the fundraiser is all about and um, you can support it if you want to so just to let you know if you're wondering where the chat is and why you can only speak in moon rune emotes now you know someone in chat just said nah I hate chatting do you spend a lot of time doing things you dislike <laughs> I'm just I'm just wondering I mean, I do. I played DMC2 the other day. Just be lucky I'm not doing Devil May Cry 2 for charity. Here's the room. Okay. 
There's a number in here somewhere, right? Okay, that's creepy. An old doll. I'm not really sure. I mean, two dolls, maybe? There, there usually would be a number written in blood or something, but... It said room numbers should be the label outside. 301. So that's four. What, like, add up the numbers? So, so is the code 4441? The third digit is three. Results unclear. Estoy pooping instead. Product of the first and last digit. So that would be four. Four 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 one. Vinny, three times one is not four. Oh, I have to multiply, not add. Oh, right. Thank you, chat. Okay, so then it's... If all is... You know, if I've used my brain properly... <laughs> it's... Four. Four. Three. One. I don't even know if this is working. I don't believe this is working. You need power? Jamie. Vinny, the safe. The safe. Um. Yes, the safe. This, now, now remind me where the safe was again. Was that the first floor? God, I'm so shit with this. Room with TV. God. This is not my high point. I've definitely had my better days. I had a white claw for the first time in my life tonight. My friend bought it as a joke. To be like, hey, hey brah, we're all kids. We're just chill kids drinking white claws, brah. It's my friend's Halloween party, and he bought white claws and I tried one. It's, it's like the, um... What the hell would you compare it to? It, it's like... The LaCroix of alcohol. It wasn't bad, though. I mean, it was... I've had, like, spiked seltzer before. It wasn't... It wasn't really great. So that was definitely better than that stuff. Just room with the TV. Or a room with the TV. So, yeah. It was... It was okay. It, it wasn't anything special, but... People love it, they meme it, they drink it. It's weird now, when I go to a lot of these, um, things I'm invited to, there, there were like, seven kids running around. I'm like, oh.
like everyone's just got kids now. Order is TV room heart conditioned little girl drunk. Um, yes, but am I even activating the safe? You know what I mean? Like, I can't even tell if I'm actually doing anything. Once you get the right code, it auto opens. Try 4314. And you press the handle. Are these handles? I can't tell. I mean, I, I like this mod and everything, but it's definitely it's vague. 4130. Need, yeah, it needs feedback. I don't know if this is working. Like, I... Vinny, you are doing a different puzzle. I like it. I like how we're all confused. That's fun. You need to do the keypad first, where you get the code from four different rooms. Do the keypad first. What do you mean? How about we just do this instead? Don't break my heart. My it breaky heart. Just don't break your understand. this nonsense four two three nine The operation room door is 4329. Where are we arriving at 4329 from? Because you, you, you solved that puzzle before I did, and I'm feeling very inadequate. Which I'm used to at this point, but that's okay. Someone YouTubed it? Oh, cool. 4239. Well, it's nice to know the buttons are actually working.
So, how did... No. Wait, never mind. Room of Life 35. Room of Life 35. It's more than... So it's... Four... Three... Five... Four... One... Four, three, five, four, one. Let's just get numbers and put codes in. Four, three, five, four, one. Oh! Oh shit. Great. Okay, now please help me understand that first code that you told me about, chat. I just want to understand where it came from. Vinny, the first room is 202. Second room is 201, third is 301, fourth is 304, 303. Oh, okay, the room numbers at the top was another set of numbers you had to keep track of. All right, cool. Um, now, if anyone remembers the name of that key, I can go to where that was to unlock the door. DL key? The room with bad Eng the note with bad English told you how to do the room number multiplication thing. Is that what that said? D L C two Toolbox again. This is cool, but it also maybe needs a little bit more... ...like, spoop in between the number puzzles. That's just my opinion. Like, there was, you know, the nurse, there was a couple weird noises, but so far, I am not... I'm enjoying the atmosphere, but I'm definitely not seeing the spoop. Doctor's office. Oh, doctor, as in... Dalktr. Oh, there's a note. Okay. I hereby forbid anyone from visiting the morgue without my authorization. Only approved personnel may enter there. I've replaced the lock on the door with code panel. On the door with code panel. The code is currently 4573. If someone enters the morgue without consent, they will be immediately dismissed. 4573. Hey, the plus of all this is that you could just, like, use speedrun tactics if you know the number, uh, the numbers, and you could just finish this game in five minutes. Four, five, seven, three. Okay, cool. What's up, everybody? Thank you. Thank you for joining again. Uh, thank you for participating in this fundraiser event for Variety is Hope, and I hope, um, I hope it leads to bigger and better things for the future charity streams. So thank you for your contributions and just watching and hanging out. 
they all work real hard on making this thing a success every year so that I don't have to. So for that, I am eternally grateful. As a lazy person, I am a very, very grateful lazy person. Four, five, seven, three. Okay. This better be the spookiest room in the entire game. Pretty spooky so far. Oh god, what game was I playing with with the morgue? Where where stuff like this was happening and I died? It was Resident Evil 2. N7. DL, probably a doctor's lounge. You check the locked doors on the first floor. What? A key to room 302. I think that, that message was a little late. Key to room 302. Yeah, the corpse... spoke. It's at the Halloween party I was at today, someone was Beetlejuice, and another person randomly did Honk Honk, and I was very happy about these events. Strange noises. Someone said we live in a society. Oh, okay. Speaking of... I found this, someone made this and posted it to my Twitter. So... Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh my god. No, 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 no. What the hell is going on? I... I gotta get out of here. Picked up a key with the mark F3. It must be for the third floor. F3. Okay. Did you hear that? There's like a squishy noise. I mean, it's a decent attempt at an American dude. G uh, what's your name? Johnny American? But yeah, they're doing pretty good. Probably someone who hasn't voice acted professionally. That's what I'd imagine, but not bad. Johnny Blue Jeans? That was, um... Oh god, what, what show was that? That was a, a show with, um, Tom Lennon and... It's from the Reno 911 people, plus, uh, Michael David Hall? Hall David Michael, man? What's his name? Arsenio Michael da David Hall? Hall, uh, had three names. J uh, Jan Michael, Jan Michael Vincent, Michael David Michael, like, Michael David Black, Michael Ian Black. Michael Ian Black is his name. That's his name. He played Johnny Blue Jeans. He was in Stella as well, but no, it was a different show. It was, um... I, I mean, I got there. Yeah, I figured it out eventually, but it was... What the fuck was the name of that show? It was a good show.
not Stella, not the state. It was on Comedy Central. Viva Variety. Oh my god. Blast from the past. Yeah, Michael Ian Plack, uh, Black... Plack? Play, <laughs> played like a Russian dude who was like the most American of all the guys ever. Johnny Blue Jeans. And he had um, a pompadour. And he was super Amer American guy. I swear I can say words. I've been saying them for many years of my life now. I know I can do it. <laughs> oh boy. What the what happened? This is this place even a hospital? Oh, this is like the Silent Hill 2 area. That gets real weird and deep and dark and scummy. At the end of the game. With the weird metal machine music type sounds that happen. <laughs> Toolbox is shut tight. No handles or holes. Oh god, more numbers. <laughs> oh fuck. This place is very rusty. Let's start down here. David, your blame twice as much than Robert blame. You dared to be inebriated during operation. Can't tell if cryptic or poorly written. Due to language, uh, language barrier stuff. Then again, I've said several words wrong tonight. And had a stroke trying to remember a dude's name, so I can't be really... throwing shade, you know? Michael David Ian. Black... Blaine. Blake. Blake. Blakeman. <laughs> Vinny, you had one white claw. We understand you're wasted. Has anyone gone as a white claw for a Halloween costume yet? Well, the White Claw became a thing this year, so probably not, but I'm wondering if anyone needs a costume, just dress up as a White Claw. And, uh, you got a costume that'll be both instantly a hit, and low effort and funny. That people will be like, that's hilarious. Ah uh, yes, meat stalls. Toilets are still pretty clean. But you know, lining... Lining the toilets with meat. That's really good. 
That's really, really good. So that way, disease gets transferred from one stall to the next. Eight. 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 Got it, eight. Twelve. Then that was a seven and not an eight. That was a seven. Oh, yeah. I should know that. Final Fantasy VII was my favorite game for years. I learned Roman numerals just for that game. Eleven? Obviously it didn't work. Final Fantasy V. That's the one I like. Eight. I don't think I did that right. Joseph, you are an excellent surgeon working as a jeweler, but you are responsible for their employees, even though you are not to blame. Pressament order, right. So now we have to figure out what the order is. Eight, twelve, eleven, seven. Is that what it said on the box? And it, yeah, I saw it. I just didn't remember because that's a lot of numbers for me to remember. We as a society, Q Joker, don't even have to remember phone numbers anymore. It used to be that I had like dozens of phone numbers memorized. And then that was taken away from me by them damn phones that you damn kids are on all the time that I'm always on all the time sometimes. Seven last. Oh, I saw it so beautiful! I think it was really touching how Hootie was talking before about how he didn't really, you know, he was like, well, I'm not a boomer, so. You know, what- what age would one have to be to be a boomer? Thinking, like, what it should be, which is, you'd have to be, like, 75 by now. You know, that- that whole generation... ...is, like, in their 70s. So... It's just, you know, it's funny to me that, like, Hootie bless his- bless his soul. was unaware of such things, and I'm like, oh, my sweet summer child, you don't... You haven't been called a boomer every five minutes of your streams, have you? Chad, I like that band. Which band, Vinny? Tame Impala. Boomer! <laughs> Why am I a boomer? Band started 2009. This is not good! <laughs> I 
Oh, no. <laughs> Vinny, would you rather be called a boom boomer instead? I don't mind. You can call me a boomer if you want. It's, it's fine. <laughs> It does- yeah, it's words, man. We made them up. It doesn't mean what you think it means, but it doesn't bother me. Jay Leno is a vroomer. Vroom! Oh, tell me, Joker. Joker, tell me, how did you get your scars? <laughs> I'll tell you how I got my cars if you tell me how you got your scars. What's that? Did you want Ultra Leno? If you donate right now, I'll give you Ultra Leno. How about this? I'll just give you L Ultra Leno anyway. Conan's podcast is really popular, you know, like it's done really well, and it's pissed people off that it's done well, because they're like, you know, established celebrity gets popular podcast and everyone's celebrating it like some kind of success. Um, but, you know, it's a good podcast. I, I think he does really good interviews. I like him for the most part. Regardless. So, yeah, his podcast got really popular really, really quickly. And I was wondering, like, when was Jay Leno going to announce? So, uh, I'm doing a podcast, and it's the, you know, Conan O'Brien podcast starring Jay Leno. <laughs> I was just waiting for it. it. Hasn't happened yet. Keeping my eyes open for it. The hell? <sighs> so there it is. Oh. This is fine. Oh, it's getting really bloody and meaty. I found a key inside the monster's body. It stinks like hell. Disgusting like hell. It's a good thing I'm streaming this, like, at nighttime. You know? This is like after hours type shit. Wouldn't want any um, of Jay Leno's children to be up to see this. Sterilization. One of the most important routines, nurse. Nancy, you have neglected this rule. Okay.
think I mentioned that I saw a chopping mall. It's just a dumb movie about robots that come alive in a mall. And, uh, get struck by lightning and kill all the kids that are there at night. Well, I say kids, but they're, you know, 30-year-old actors playing 18-year-old kids. It was the 80s. Oh, 4K, nice. A good resolution on two levels. Vinny, if we hit 5k, do we get more DMC2? Nope. See how boring that stream was? Holy fucking hell, that game is boring. I mean, I say that as I'm playing this, which many would consider boring. I consider it moody and atmospheric... ...and creepy, and... But yes, Devil May Cry is an action game... ...where you can hold one button... ...and walk slowly, and... ...still win. But yeah, Devil May Cry 2 is not a, an interesting enough game for an incentive anymore, I don't think. But, I mean, hey, I don't know. Some people like to watch... ...my streams, so... ...clearly they're... <laughs> ...they're okay with being bored. <laughs> People like the memes. Well, it, it is a cool jacket. Let's be real, Dante has a cool jacket. Patient has died of septic shock due to blood. Infection sterilization procedures were not proper property observed. I'm just going to consider it part of the storyline that these things are, are like words are wrong and grammar is weird. Because of the creepiness. Close enough. This is a nice room. This is a cool hospital that has a nice room. Septic shock died of a stoy poopin. <laughs> Only a judge can pass on. Judge these people fairly. Start with the most sinned. The most sinned. All right. Who flooded the toilet? Oh, wrong. I, that's a door. That was a door. Joseph, Robert, Nancy, David, Ashley. What? What?
So, where are the sinners? Sinner. What the... What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? Are you one of the sinners? <laughs> Any sinners in here? The story's written on the wall. Oh. Well, who do I know? Like, how do I know whose name is, is which? Nancy didn't sterilize properly. Some of these... folks don't have names. They use the characters' names in the blood stories. Okay, I didn't- I only saw, like, a couple, maybe. Let's see. Did Vine Memory fail me again? David. You're- Blame twice as much than Robert Blame. <laughs> you dared to be inebriated during operation. Okay, so David is twice as much to blame as Robert. Then, so, yes. So David is like a double sinner. That's a good sin. Okay, David is blame. Um, let's continue collecting data. The anesthesiologist must change narcotic drugs. <laughs> boy. Boy, eight, 80. That he will survive after this negligence. Let's change narcotic drugs. So. So? That's an S? Soy. 80%. 80... Eighty percent that he will narcotic drugs. <sighs> is this what getting old is like? Where you just don't understand anything anymore? Eighty percent chance. Eighty percent chance. Oh. Someone had to bleed for a long time for these messages to have been fully written like that. Joseph, you are an excellent surgeon working as a jeweler, but you are responsible for their employees, even though you are not to blame. I'm gonna say Joseph didn't really sin a whole lot. I don't know if that's accurate. Player one has sinned. Sterilization, right? Nancy. You have neglected this rule. It's the most... One of the most important routine- This is such a fucking vague puzzle. Like, I don't know what the game is trying to tell me in terms of, like, sin order. But what makes the sin worse than... <sighs> 
Joseph, anesthesiologist, Nancy, Robert, David. I guess? Yeah, the puzzles haven't really done this game any favors, in my opinion. I'm sure many of you would... ...would, you know, have a different opinion, and that's- that makes sense. I mean, some people like puzzles and vague stuff more than others, and... ...you know, if you- if you enjoy, that's good. I am not enjoy some of these puzzles. No boing. Again, it looks great. It's definitely capturing the Silent Hill vibe. But it's, um... A lot of this could have been cut in half. Let's see if I, you know, can figure out who sinned. So, from least to most. Joseph? I don't even know who Ashley is, so we'll say Ashley. Nancy. Robert. David. <laughs> I was like, oh, I won! I did it! Judge these people start with the most sinned. Oh, the most sinned. So, David, Robert, Nancy, Ashley, Joseph. <sighs> oh, God. Did anyone see anything about Ashley? Is it possible I missed... ...this Ashley subplot? There's no writing in this room. I was thinking maybe I missed a story. Nancy... ...Ashley, David, Robert, Joseph, in that order. Th thank you. Thank you. But, you know, because again, the game said that anesthesia was- was very sinned. So... Whatever. I don't get it. Again, it's like mind reading. It's like, what am I thinking? I'm sure there was a little bit more logic to it than that, but I wasn't- I was just confused about what the game wanted from me. Shovel was used to break down the door. What's up, dude? Don't do that. Vinny, Vinny. Whoa, let me do that again without a voice crack. Vinny, now you have to guess what I'm thinking right now. You're thinking about cheesecakes. Cheese steaks, blapkins, napkins, you're using way too many of them. Jacob's Ladder, anyone? Which, again, inspired Silent Hill. So, uh, here's... Yeah, I've recommended this movie plenty of times, but... For anyone who's new to my particular brand of stupidity... I mean streaming. There's a movie called Jacob's Ladder with Tim Robbins... ...that inspired Silent Hill... ...that I like to, uh, watch when I'm... I don't know, in a weird mood, I guess. 
It's a really disturbing movie. I'd, re I'd recommend it. The criminal has been hanged for the sins he committed with the moon shining above. Some nice scummy snacks. That's cool. Some, uh, oh, crunchy roach. Delicious crunchy roach. Would anyone like a grub? Salted worms. Centipede legs. Fried centipede. F like, spiced with spicy centipede legs. Delicious. Blood sausage flavored chips. You know what? There are people that would eat that. Apparently it's delicious. I don't know. The judge was strict, but he was fair. The sun shines on his deeds from below. So, you know... I'll probably have to come back to them. sins of the criminal is best left in the past. <laughs> kind of looks like an alien is in that bag. This game is all puzzles, no scare. Yep. Seems like it. Two of the puzzles made... Well, one puzzle made zero sense, which is the previous one previous one, and then the one that I needed help with earlier was because I was looking at the wrong numbers on the doors. Or I wasn't looking at the numbers on the doors. This is a direct rip-off of the last Silent Hill 3 puzzle. Am I, I, you know, I mean, if I could collect the notes and go into my inventory, let's say, and then read them all, I would have given a more fair shot at that previous puzzle, but the fact that you have then have to walk from room to room to read the notes. Not remembering which room is which, because they look all the same, you know? It's very... It's very difficult. Very, um... It makes me not want to do that, and just look at the chat and get the solution. Okay, uh... Shit. Speaking of... Door is stuck. Door is stuck. Oh. Okay. I wish I had the energy to scream door stuck the way you would expect me to, but I, I don't have that kind of energy right now. 
That white claw really knocked it out of me, eh, boys? Super cool for drinking white claws. That's how you- Listen, if you want to look cool on the internet, just tell people you drink white claw. Hey, hey, Peter. <laughs> You want to head over to the clam and uh, get us a couple of white claws? You notice my Joe impression has gotten worse? It started out bad and now it's dismal. I went from a B to a D in Devil May Cry. Bad. Dismal. Strange glowing mark on elevator door. Okay. The criminal has been hanged for its right sins. Yep. Okay, so I need to find the- there should be one more tar tarot. Tarot is in carrot. Rhymes with carrot. Chat, I wonder... I have a question for you all. Judgment is a just cause. Okay. Wire cutters, but I don't think I will need them. Could be useful later on. Why, why not pick them up now? Okay, my question is as follows. When you're in a mall and you see a little stand that has a, a psychic that will tell you your fortune, future, and read your palm. That's proof of the supernatural, right? No, it totally is. I mean, it says it right there. It says they can read your future. Because I was at my local mall the other day, and I saw that there was, um... You know, there was a psychic. Just there. Just sitting there. Just waiting for customers, and... Kind of sad to think... There were no customers, but I was like, oh, that's immediate proof of the supernatural. All I have to do is just go over there with some da Dan Aykroyd... ...devices, and, and just test the Thetan levels, and... It's- that's it. It's irrefutable. And I actually do believe in the supernatural to some extent. But the mall psychics are proof that we live in a, a system of beliefs that are not often challenged by the status quo and or have come from the place that we we're all given as one. Good, can't find the last card. That's cool. So I, I have three cards, right? I don't have four. I need four. I have three. There's no fourth card. <laughs> Yay! Great! Here we go through the rooms again that we have been to. Please take me to the room here. It's here. Vinny, you just walked past it. I walked past a note. If, if you mean this, that's a note. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of this. 
Is there any escape to this- from this insanity? I'll check every door. I have to get out of here. I have checked every door several times. Examine wires and storage room, the room with the note. Okay, so, uh, um... There are several rooms with note. Examine the wires in the storage room. Examine the wires in the storage room. That would be kind of weird if the wire cutters were just there. You have to examine the wires first, and then you can pick up the wire cutters? The door is wrapped with barbed wire. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, the weird thing is that makes more sense logically in real life, I guess. But that is definitely not good video game. Video game, you pick up the thing and then you find where you need it later. Or you go back for it. Oh, meat. Confuse the shit out of me. If I could only pick up those wire cutters earlier. All right. That's, that's creepy. Was there a tarot, tarot card in here? So I didn't miss anything in there. I got a key, so I can open something. A little less conversation, a little more action. A little less conversation, a little more action. <sighs> Elvis just wanted to do a little, uh... Sorry, shitty Elvis wanted to give his review of the game. Click every door. The other issue I have is, again, I don't- this is a mod, so of course it's not gonna be, like, perfect. I get that. But it would have been cool to have a map on hand. Because I get lost in my own bedroom. And this is... Every door looks the same. So did I tell the horror story about the, um... Outer Worlds? Did I tell- I didn't- I didn't tell you the full story, I mentioned it. Okay, I mentioned it, I'll tell you the full story now. So, Obsidian... Obsidian, through my YouTube network, sends me an Outer Worlds code, which I was not sure I was going to stream right away, because I was- I'm streaming a million other things. I'm- I'm a very lucky person, I know that- I know that. So I was really happy that I got a code for the game. Um... It didn't work at first. They- they apparently gave the wrong code to the wrong person. Or the right code to the wrong person. So, I didn't get the code, then they- they hit me up again, and was like, here's an Xbox code. And I was like, great, an Xbox code. That means I can play the PC version of this, because with Xbox Game Pass, Outer Worlds is playable on Windows 10. Great. So, I go to the Windows Store. As you do. Oh shit. I'm in the room now. That was kind of cool. Vinny, I think you mean play anywhere. 
That's ridiculous. Well, well, listen. Hear, hear this out. Hear me out. Okay. With Gears of War, you can do that. So I redeem the code on the Windows Store, and I now have the game. You know, it's credited to my account. Um, and it says devices unavailable cannot play this game on your current devices, even though everything's up to date, everything's up to speed. So then I find there's another listing for the Outer Worlds on the Windows Store that says PC. And it says $59.99. As in, not the code I redeemed, I don't have that version. So I call up X uh, Microsoft, I actually get a human, they then direct me to Xbox support, and I end up getting someone who is super nice and super confused about all of this, saying, Sir, I'm looking on your account, I see the game The Outer Worlds. It doesn't appear that you can play this on computer. It doesn't have play anywhere. I said, no, no, no. Look at the other listing. It says PC, Windows 10 compatible. We were on the phone for 45 minutes. And he was like, this makes no sense. Couldn't help me. I checked my Xbox account. It's not even tied to my Xbox account. So, granted, I only checked the Xbox app and not my actual Xbox, which, by the way, I'm missing a cable. So, I don't even know. I haven't used my Xbox three, uh, One in almost a year and a half now. So, good. Excellent. So I've, I've tweeted Obsidian, I've, you know, I really uh, don't want to play this game on the Xbox. I prefer not to. I want to play the PC version. Which does again exist, because it's, it's Play Anywhere, and um, if you do Game Pass, you can play it on the PC. And apparently it's very well optimized for PC, so that's my horror story. Um, and I, again, it was a code that was given to me, so I can't look a gift horse in the mouth, but the funny part about this is... ...that, again, there's two listings, on the game store, and I have one and not the other. And they sent me the code specifically so I could stream it, and I can't. And the dude at Xbox was like, this, this is, like, this makes no sense. This is weird, and I, I'm really trying to help you, sir. I'll try to my best. Just a bizarre thing. Really, really bizarre. And, um... Boy, it, why is it so confusing? Why is it so complicated? My final point is, again, it works with Xbox Game Pass. Why wouldn't it also work when you redeem a key? I'm suffocating, what should I do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a- oh shit! I don't have a weapon! Something's wrong. Something is wrong. What's happening to me? The drugs? Dr. Kaufman. It's all his fault. Okay. 
Am I back in the regular hospital now? The end of this is gonna be Mario. It was all in your head, Luigi. Hang on a second. Be right with you. Oh, we hear some nice guitar music. I don't know what's going on there. That's pretty cool. Here we go! Whoa! Hello! This door doesn't have a handle. All right, we'll give it some time to adjust. You know, it's it's a hard life being a door. I see some plus twos, some minus twos. It looks like it's all balanced out and I'm back at zero. Time to leave. Damn it! Now it is open. Yeah. Oh shit, Mario again. Too early to leave. No, I'm ready. I put my time in at this here place. This is two hours. Locked. Door stuck. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. It's Gangsta's Paradise. It'll be in the Sonic movie soon. That's all the lyrics I know of that song. Oh, and band span and most my cry. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. Coolio, good shit. Thanks, dude. You know what's funny about Coolio? Apparently, he, um, after the Hot Ones interview, or during the Hot Ones interview, he just took a nap on their couch. Like, he just, I guess it was so hot that he fell asleep. early to leave. Okay. I, there was a note here. I didn't see this. 
for 1480 this preparation um, represents the diluted version of preparation numbers in small doses the preparation causes hallucinations and symptoms resembling narcotic inebriation sale of the preparation will be carried out through the antique store green l Li green lion okay part of the diluted preparation will give will be given to the local cult known as the order <laughs> Preparation? Which one? H? Green L. Luigi's in this game. Luigi is in this game. With the exception of close confidants, disclosure of this document is to anyone is expressly, expressly forbidden. I gotta go to the Green Lion Antique Shop. Maybe I'll find Dr. Kaufman. I gotta go to the Green Lion Antique Shop. Maybe I'll find Dr. Kaufman there. Well, this looks very much like Silent Hill. Oh, we get to step outside the hospital. Well, that's good. Oh, this is great. It's like America's Choice Silent Hill. Quiet Mountain. Just a door. Nothing interesting. I have nothing to do here. I often think about those as well. Mute Mound. I like- yeah, Mute Mound is a good one. Soundless Mound. That's right. Great Value Silent Hills are my favorite. Well, hey, at least the series is still alive and well in the hands of Konami. I need to find a way around. This isn't the roads are out. This is the Earth swallowed a building and some of the road. Happy Burger. Anti-Acoustic Acres. That's a new one. I thought we did all of the Great Value Silent Hill names until I saw that. Low Volume Valley. Vacuum Butte? <laughs> what? <laughs> See, by the time you get to Vacuum Butte, you can understand why series and clones of series that hit it big start to lose their luster after a while. Yeah, I mean, I don't need- I don't exactly need combat, but this definitely needs... ...some more spoopy nurses or something. These are real product. Hot, hot. Lied. Okay, never mind. This isn't real product. Plastic spoons? That's real product. Round toothpicks. Thank God they're round. Doesn't look like it says toothpicks, though. It looks like it says... Tooth... Fucks. Tooth thicks. The 
machine is working, but I have no time for this. Play the video game, dude. Come on, it's Rampage. You have to solve a puzzle and figure out which order of drink you must pour into the cup to progress. Okay, here's a story of how four hikers climbed up a hill. Okay, so they climbed up a, a silent hill, a mute mound. One likes Coca-Cola. Um, and which... What's the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? The drink machine is broken. We tried to adjust it without any kind of equipment, but it didn't work. Someone has to go up there and check it out. The machine hasn't been working since last Wednesday. What's interesting, though, is if you press the buttons on the keypad in a certain sequence, one, three, five, six, then the thing starts ringing. That is hilarious. Uh, once again, anyone joining for the stream tonight, if you are on my channel, you're wondering where the chat is. Twitch.tv slash Variety is Hope. This is part of a charity fundraising event. All details can be gleaned from um, the page itself or from the chat, or if you want, you can watch Hootie describe everything. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to email and ask. But, if you wish to participate, that's great. If not, that's fine. Thank you for being here. Just wanted to, uh, welcome you. And thank you for the support. From my part, I'm more, you know, the vine sauce is hope thing is what I focus a little bit more on. And even <laughs> I said moron. That's me. But um, you know, this is the variety is hope is now its own charity organization. Which is really impressive. I'm proud of everyone involved that got the the whole thing up and running and working. I mean it's a lot of work to figure that shit out. And I don't know how to do that. I wouldn't know where to begin. Um but it goes to good causes and will continue to go to good causes as the final charities are eventually determined, but I think it's really cool. And again, as I said earlier, as a lazy person, I'm glad that there's so many people, volunteers, that are, you know, putting so much time into this to make this a success, so all I have to do is say the funny voice, do the funny word, and, you know, hopefully inspire a couple people to get involved in some charity work. Well, it's nice to be out of the hospital for a minute. I can see it now. There's I picked up a bottle of acid. Here's a knife. Looks like I won't need it just yet. And then a spooky, like, quadruple-legged nurse demon shows up and attacks the player. I should go back and get that knife. But this room looks like it's ripped out of Pia, um, out of Silent Hill 2. Chat is also saying that it looks like it's, um, very, very similar. I played the game just last year, so I don't know if this is, I mean, you know, that's not that long ago. I don't know if this is the same thing, the same assets, but yeah, it looks very, very similar. 
Was that a poop knife? I mean, you saw it. It looked... Looked kind of like a poop knife. Looks like the garbage chute is in working condition. The end of the game is you just throw yourself in. The garbage chute. That's it. And then you win. Well, hey, you know what? That was creative. At least instead of another key, we got some acid to burn that lock off. Apparently this is only like a two hour long excursion. I feel like I probably at that point have played... Well, we're over two hours now, so I don't know, we might be done soon. Man once had nothing but hatred and darkness. Pain permeated his very existence. Then God was born. Born in that pain, born of a man and a woman who put their faith in the power of the sun. And so, God came upon the earth, gave law and order to its people, gave them flesh, time, and death. Enjoy that last one in particular, guys. That's what God said. Thus the people were happy, for now they knew the value of flesh and time. Time divided all into day and night. Night brought to man the realm of dreams and dreams that could build their own paradise, free of misery and despair, a paradise of happiness, a paradise of hope. Yes. Except for when you have nightmares that you're being chased by a flesh monster on a boat in the middle of nowhere. Someone in chat here just uh, asked the question, why is vine sauce an emote only? Well, it started many, many, many millions of years ago when God created the earth and gave us the gift of, of death, flesh, and time. From that point forward, there were dinosaurs, or were there? I'm not sure. Uh, I've been told that that was devilry. Then, um, sometime around then, vine saw started, and now here we are today. And essentially, the chat's, the chat's closed so that um, it, it would encourage people to come here and chat in the charity chat room. Did the dinosaurs watch Twitch? They did for a while, but then all the big dinosaur streamers went over to Mixer. Because Mixer bought them out and... You know, the dinosaurs... Um... They went extinct sometime after that, I think. I sometimes wonder if Mixer was like, Vinny, do you want a Lamborghini? I might be like, hey, wait a minute. Did you say a Lamborghini? Flesh. Boy, these puzzles are very, very vague. No, Vinny, things can't change. <laughs> if 
for the record, I'm not actually going to Mixer. You know that, right? But the same- I, it's weird, too, because there's- there's a lot of people that complain about Twitch. That would also be like, stay on Twitch. So it gets- the mi the messaging gets very confusing. Vinny, you don't know that. Or, no, I don't know that, someone said. Like I said, Lamborghinis are kinda cool. But the truth is... Having a Lamborghini in New York City... Like, I... I would not want a super fancy car. Here. That seems like just disappointment waiting to happen. I'd be worried about where I'm parking, everywhere. I'd be worried about every single turn I make, every parking lot. Oh god. And I saw the zodiac signs on the wall. One of them I found was acid, another one in the stairwell. Parking in New York is like 50 bucks. If you go to a garage, it's 50 bucks. If you go to a garage near Radio City or Madison Square Garden during a show, it's $50. Vinny, where you live in New York is dangerous? Not entirely, but I am- I like to drive to Brooklyn and Manhattan. And there are some shit drivers. If there is a thing, like people are on Staten Island are known to be shitty drivers. So part of it is that I enjoy um, I enjoy not having the the, the worry about you know like a, a having a really nice car. Vinny, don't worry, shit drivers are everywhere. This is why we can't have nice things in general, I guess. I'm not really a fan of, of a lot of this at the moment, because it's just me running back and forth between areas. Hoping to find the thing that I have to find, which is... ...usually a locked door. Yeah, this- this didn't end up that great. It, it started with so much potential, so much promise. And I get that part of the Silent Hill experience is... The multitude of doors that are just rammed together, some of which you cannot open. That was, you know, Silent Hill 2, 2 did that. Go to the top of the stairs and turn around. You have to find the posters. Silent Hill also had enemies. It did. It spiced up the game a bit. I'll be honest, Silent Hill doesn't really... I wonder if that was a publisher move, as opposed to, like, plan from the beginning. It's like, well, no. I mean, if we want to sell this game, we need guns. Still missing one. Uh, yeah, and I mean the, the thing is like it's just like dirty stuff. It's not even that spooky. There's sure there's like a couple meat things, but there's just like dirty things on the ground <laughs> and just running around in puzzles.
I don't know. I'm not really sure I want to continue playing this, but yet... I also really want to just get it out of the way. And just say I did it in one stream. Can I get a, a little bit of a pointer, if anyone has one? Uh, I- my brain is not comprehending. I, I don't- I don't care anymore. Each of those symbols, uh, corresponds to one of the gifts from the note. So there's- there's text there. Okay, that's cool. I was already tired because of the ring fitting and that white- that crazy mental white claw I had. So I'm trying to stay awake a little bit, if pos- if possible. Okay, I don't think I've been down here, so... Well, I might have been. It's hard to tell. Yep, been down here. <laughs> so, flesh- I think I got all the things. I'm- I'm pretty sure I got all the things. Vinny, why did you fit a ring? Ring Fit Adventures, I have to be clear. Okay, Ring Fit Adventures on the Switch. It's an exercise game, I played it earlier. Read the text, and push the symbols in the order of the word appearance. So, okay, what you're saying is I have to go to each... ...in the order of the word appearance. Do I have to press the pieces of paper, or can I just... Can I brute force this? Three, one, four, two. puzzles. Um, I guess... Okay, so there's a room somewhere that I have to open. Maybe it was this one? Locked, I need a key to open it. Alright. <laughs> should do a poll, which- which was more exciting, DMC2 or this? <laughs> One key from the keychain fits. Camera... Uh, apartment 306. Spooky baby noises and spooky teddy- teddy bear. I'll just go up to the room. It would be nice if Tommy was waiting for me in the room.
Okay. A lot of, um, video camera stuff. After all the preparations are complete, you can then develop photograph. Don't forget to only use red light, or else the negatives will become overexposed. Load the film into the drum and fill the drum with chemical A. <laughs> and print out the photographs in the enlarger. Not enough regents. I don't know. I, you know I, I don't like giving up on games. I've done it before, I don't like doing it. Unless the game is really rough. I mean, I finished Cry of Fear and I was not having a good time with that. Also, my block is coming to an end. Which means the charity stream today is coming to an end. S sorry is all I can really say. just dolls. <laughs> the picture is just dolls. <laughs> what a picture. Is that a demon in the back there? Yeah, it looks like a demon. In the room there. Well, I got two minutes left, so maybe I can finish this. Maybe I just have to go back to that room. Will you be streaming on your channel after this? I'm not sure I will. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll give you one bonus spoopy game. Uh, I was thinking about playing some music tonight. Maybe, uh, doing a little recording of this new idea... ...that I had. And, um... That, plus I'm tired. I got my Jaguar completely surfaced. My- my Jaguar guitar. Not- I don't have a car. I don't have a Jaguar car. And it's... It's pretty good. Desperately needed that. Cool. Alright, great. Hey there. So what was the point of that, um... What about an Atari Jaguar? I have one of those. Okay. You have to place teddy bears on the meat hooks in the room with the camera. Um, apparently I'm 50% through this. Sphinx is saying about half an hour left. Ben. Okay. So wait, a half hour left... Um, someone else said I'm about halfway through. So that's... I don't know anymore. Alright, well... I'm missing... <clears throat> I'm missing a teddy bear. Oh, I could pick that up. This will be the final task. Maybe something interesting will happen, I don't know. A door opened? Door is stuck? <laughs> what happened?
What opened? It's so vague. Three oh six, I was there a moment ago. Yeah, I don't know. I think, um, the chest in the room, Vinny. Okay. You saw a chest in there? Where? Let me see. What was that spooky noise? Her spooky noise. Finally, I'm scared. I mean, if gear just piped in some spooky sound effects, I'd probably... That would be good enough. <laughs> okay, thanks. Perfect. Oh, this right here, okay. A golden plate. Okay. My sense of direction isn't that great, so a lot of this has been me just running around aimlessly. Uh, but the truth is, this has not been fun for me. And... It may emulate Silent Hill. It's not bad. I've said it before, the, the atmosphere is really cool. There's a lot of positives here. But the negatives are just weighing this down for me way too much. And it's really making it difficult to enjoy. Which is a shame. Um, I thought this was like two hours of gameplay. I, my plan was to finish this in two hours and then do a bon bonus. Whoa! Voice crack. Bonus spooky game or two. But I can't do that here, so maybe I'll just do one on my channel. Real quick. And then we can all disperse into the night and then... Tomorrow will be more charity. I agree with VR Josh, yes. Alright. Well, we got to do this together, and you got to hear my horror story about the outer world, so that's cool. Thank you for watching. All right. Okay then, thank you. Uh, well, I'm glad that people again showed up for this and decided to support the stream out a little bit. So thank you. And uh, yeah, I mean, I will do a little bit of a spooky game on my channel. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'll probably do some streaming as well. But hey, not not for the charity, but I will definitely tell people to go check it out, of course. Um, so yeah, thank you. John, are we, uh, how are we wrapping up to this to charity thing tonight? Um, we've got a few minutes to say our goodbyes, and that's it. I mean, if you want to join me, you're welcome to. Okay, let's do it. Alright, give me one second, let me prepare it. Should I get off my channel? Yeah. Alright. All right, everybody, I'll see you in a little bit. I'll do one more spooky thing for you, but not now. See you in a bit.